Anthony Joshua is without a doubt one of the cash cows in boxing due to his good looks and almost Adonis-like physique. However, many fight fans can be quick to discard Joshua's ability at times for being a one-trick pony or a weightlifter who boxes. In this boxing style analysis, I want to go against these myths and highlight how Joshua uses simplicity and correct boxing fundamentals for his style that has got him to boxing stardom from the amateurs to unified heavyweight world champion. I'll be looking at his background and of course his boxing style. So let's get right into it. Joshua originally from Watford, England, started boxing later in life at the age of 18. Since then AJ has gone on to exceed what many would have expected getting into the England and GB amateur boxing teams, having turned down the chance to go professional. Joshua would then get his call up to the 2011 World Championships, earning silver in the super heavyweight division. However, it was 2012 when Joshua really started to come to stardom when he competed at the London Olympics, winning gold before deciding to turn pro soon after. Joining up with Eddie Hearn's matchroom boxing, Anthony Joshua was destined for stardom and over a period of three years he stacked up countless of KOs before his first real challenge against amateur rival Dillian White. It was here Joshua's chin was tested but also showed his ability by knocking out the fellow British rival. Joshua would then get his opportunity for his first world title fight against the American Charles Martin who he dismantled with ease. AJ would then go on to fight Vladimir Klitschko at Wembley in front of 90,000 to unify with the WBA belt in a classic heavyweight bout. Joshua would then once again snap up another belt against New Zealand's Joseph Parker for the WBO belt, holding all three of the four recognised world title belts. The biggest shock of his career today obviously came to the hands of Andy Ruiz Jr in his American debut in 2019. Six months later though in his rematch against Ruiz in Saudi Arabia, he put on a true boxing display to become a two-time heavyweight world champion. What is Anthony Joshua's boxing style? Anthony Joshua has a typical boxer punching style where he takes advantage of his size and athletic ability to take out his opponents while using simplicity at the heart of it. As Lao Tzu says, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Joshua is not the greatest boxer in the world, but he he's certainly mastered the basic boxing fundamentals of a good, strong and solid jab to help set up his power shots, a tight defense with his right hand close to his chin to defend against hooks, while bobbing in and out or circling around to create distance from his opponent. AJ also does have a mean streak when it comes to finishing off opponents and will tend to pounce on them once hurt by throwing right hands, uppercuts and hooks to take them out. Working alongside Rob McCracken, who is the GB boxing coach, he has managed to keep up these solid principles in Joshua's style which has truly benefited him in the long run in my opinion. Let's break down these aspects in more detail. The jab is key. Joshua's jab is probably one of the most underrated weapons and key things he uses while fighting. He uses the jab primarily to set up his big right hand with a typical 1-2 to apply pressure and create range for distance. There has been two fights where we've seen Joshua use the jab to superb effect against quality opposition and Joseph Parker and Andy Ruiz Jr in their second fight. After his fight with Joseph Parker, Joshua even said the following about the importance of the jab. The right hand can take you around the block, but a good jab will take you around the world. And that secured another world championship belt. Joshua understands the importance of the jab, and these have probably been two of his best boxing displays to date. Using the jab in textbook clinical fashion to set up shots and create distance, Joshua is also very good at varying up his jab and in particular with the jab to the body against the majority of the opponents he has faced. He's by no means a headhunter by any means. Using genetics to his advantage. Anthony Joshua as a heavyweight definitely uses his genetics and size to his advantage and although he gets labelled as a bodybuilder or weightlifter by some, his mass and size has benefited him in this division. In the heavyweight division, efficient and clean technique are sometimes all you need due to the force of mass behind the punches that are thrown. In the case of AJ, he stands at 6 foot 6 with a reach of 82 inches and a huge muscular frame he has built up in the gym over many years of strength and conditioning training. However, at times this has in fact been a weakness for Joshua as having bigger muscles creates more lactic acid which can therefore cause fatigue 
especially going into the later rounds. But despite this, every time Joshua hits an opponent cleanly, they will feel the damage in most cases and not recover. Even against Vladimir Klitschko, this was seen. A very experienced heavyweight champion that could not withstand Joshua's power and pressure once he was hit cleanly. So by using his massive frame to his advantage, Joshua has been able to dominate most heavyweights. And why wouldn't he? Defense and simple footwork. Joshua's defense is also very textbook, where he uses a high guard to block against hooks and uses his jab to create distance. If his opponent tries to get up on the inside of Joshua, he will tend to try and tie you up and clinch on the inside so the referee can break up and create distance again so he can go back to using his jab and footwork. My one criticism would be his lack of upper body and head movement, but he excels in other areas to use his size and reach to his advantage instead. In terms of his footwork, Joshua likes to circle around his opponent not staying in the same place for too long. He tends to bob in and out of range in most cases as he waits for the right shot to present itself. Finisher Joshua is in fact a very patient fighter who will tend to take his time and wait for his opportunity to attack opponents with a common 1-2 or lead straight right or left hook. Once AJ has them hurt in most cases, he tries to walk them down throwing a barrage of hooks and uppercuts in the pocket to take them out once and for all. However, I imagine going forward he will be more careful considering what happened against Andy Ruiz in their first fight getting completely caught off guard rushing in. In my opinion, Joshua is still one of the best finishers in boxing due to his sheer size and mass and good use of technique. This plays a huge part when it comes to finishing them off. Final thoughts, Anthony Joshua without a doubt has a great textbook and clinical approach to boxing. He doesn't have the greatest reflexes, hand speed or footwork, however AJ uses his size and technique fundamentals to effectively make him one of the most dangerous heavyweights right now through simplicity. AJ also has a very underrated boxing IQ which I think opponents have overlooked in the past, leaving them with no real answer to combat him, especially because he uses a jab to set up other shots which therefore causes caution from his competitor. If you're an up and coming boxer looking to improve your technique and fundamentals, AJ is a great example to learn from and that simplicity can sometimes be the greatest weapon in boxing. Hope you enjoyed this boxing style analysis guys, make sure to comment below and let me know your thoughts on Joshua's boxing style. If you would like me to cover another boxing style, make sure to comment below and let me know who. As always guys, thanks so much for all the support, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps out the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.